everybody, this is John Lemazny, and I am going to show you how to use the GIMP today. I'm going to do something that um, I think is interesting, something people who use social media, especially Facebook, should do uh, from time to time. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a profile picture that is the... Uh, extent of the size that Facebook allows and I'm going to replace it with another picture uh, and then save that and then upload that to my uh, Facebook profile. So let's start by uh, this is the GIMP and of course it has more than one window. Here's uh, my toolbar along with my uh, image templates. By default you'll probably see something like this which are the settings for the currently selected tool. Currently I have the paintbrush selected and so these are contextual um, settings for paintbrush. And I'm going to right click on this uh, center window here and go to the file menu and choose uh, open as layers. That's going to give me a new dialog which I'll fit into my capture area and I'm gonna open up a picture in downloads which is the picture my profile picture that I downloaded so when I open it what happens is I get this dialogue that says do you want to have the same uh, color style I would always say uh, convert and so here's my resultant uh, picture at exactly the right size and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import another picture on top of it. You can see over here I have a single layer and um, that is the background image that I just imported. So when I right click here and say open as layers. This time I'm going to go to my desktop where I have a picture that I want to replace my profile picture with uh, located. And you'll see that the picture is much bigger than the original picture. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my move tool in order to move that layer to sort of see if I just want to crop it or whether I actually want to resize. And I think I want to resize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, resize tool, the scale tool. I'm going to click on that. making sure to reset it as a starting point and then I'm gonna click on this little set of chains and what that does is constrains the uh, the image because otherwise I'll just end up stretching it And for some reason, it's not working. There we go. So now, as I scale down, what's happening is that picture is getting smaller, and it's getting smaller proportionally. I'll reset it one more time, make sure there's no stretching. And with constraint turned on, I'm just going to set this to, let's say, 600. Whoops. And so what that's done is it's made it uh, much smaller. I'm going to say scale. And now I'm going to use my move tool again to move that layer into place. I'm going to align it with 
the top of the image and I'm going to add another layer and the reason I'm going to do that is to cover the bottom portion of the uh, of the image there so you can see now I've covered that additional layer with a black layer I'm going to put that underneath of the other layer and there's a strange transition from the bottom of the photo to this black so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the eyedropper tool in order to select the bottom most color and whoops make sure that I'm selecting my topmost image choose that color come back into the new layer and I'm going to use the uh, bucket fill tool in order to fill that with a color that matches the rest of that photo so here I have the uh, image that I want and I'm going to go ahead and save that and upload it to my profile picture as a replacement. Now when I do that, um, some interesting, sometimes confusing things can happen. So I'm going to say, uh, save a copy. At which point I get this dialog and it asks me what and where I want to name it as. I'm going to save it to my desktop. as a Facebook profile dot PNG. One of the interesting things about uh, GIMP is that I can just save it with a, with a file extension and it will recognize that I want to save it as that file type. So I'll go ahead and say save and I get this dialog. It says uh, PNG does some uh, interesting things with layered images. Do you want to merge those layers or do you want to flatten the image? I'm going to say uh, merge. I click on export. It gives me some settings about PNG which I usually leave uh, at the defaults. I'll say save. It exports it. And now I'm, s I'm back in my original image with the layers. But on my desktop is a nice composite image in PNG format of all of those images. So I hope that this was uh, useful for you and I will talk to you again next time.